Hey everyone, welcome back. This is another video of trading. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened when I pressed record this morning. It got corrupted. I don't I don't know what happened, but when I went to Camtasia to save the video, it was corrupted. So I don't have the morning trade. I did win a little bit of money, which I think I was $40 up on the PAs. So not much. Um, got some partials, got to break even, but then I ultimately got stopped out. So, and uh, the price actually did run uh, a little bit higher, but I was just it was at the end of uh, it's the end of the week. So I I did I was a little more aggressive on the stop loss, as you can see on the left side of the screen right there. There's the the red down arrows. That's where I got out of that morning trade. Anyways, just got back from the gym, so literally right at like 10.28, I turned the charts back on, and right away there was a setup. Now, the reason why I took this was, yeah, we're right before the pivot point, but look at price, how it, it acted just below the pivot point. It went up there, retraced, went up there, retraced, went up there, chopped around, and then we finally got into the PM session. So for me, that's a good sign that we want to break through that pivot point because we sat there we didn't break above it and then come back down we stayed below it and played around below it so that was a good sign for me to push up and as you could see here volume came in price started running up and what i'm doing there is that pink box is the time frame i don't trade which i'm going to add that to the indicator to mark off that section so you know not to trade um, but it usually chops around now the only exception is when the AM is chopping around, then usually the lunch will have like a little run, um, but most of the time don't trade during that lunch period in that pink box. You can see there it gave out some false signals and nothing really happened. So anyways, we had a lot of partials. I'm resetting this these charts up so I can look and just see much easier what's going on. So I'll mess around with that, but anyways, we're going to get stopped out here now I should have been a tick lower so I would have stayed in this trade a little longer but it eventually got hit anyway so I made one tick more money on this trade but what is crazy is all week we were losing um, or break even and so basically we were in the red this week this p.m. session and then a the little bit from the a.m. session actually got us in profit this week after being read all week we stuck to the system and paid out now yesterday we could have made more money but life hit i had to get off the chart so i was just closing out the trade right would have ran a little higher would have got more money but that's what ifs this is what really happened today was a good day 160 each on the pa accounts 480 on the challenge account so we're finally starting to push towards passing that new challenge. Still got a ways to go, but you know, with trades like this, two, three more of those you pass. So got to stick to the strategy, play it out all week, stick to it, trust the plan, trust the edge. This indicator, as well as our full training course on this strategy and everything I look at down below, you can get access for life, any updates to the course, to the strategy, any type of that stuff, or any changes to the indicator, you will get access to not only the source code, just in case TradingView takes it down for whatever reason, it's been happening because I don't write the best descriptions, whatever. Anyways, lifetime access, indicator, source code, and our trading course that goes into our strategy, how to use it, or you don't want any of that just come here for the free daily trading recap videos where pretty much go over most of the strategy or at least what i need to explain from it for what price does in that day but pairing up both of those so you know the rules and then you see not only the rules play out in the live market day after day but the other adjustments you have to take in consideration and that's what really puts someone into a profitable trader because they're able to make those on the go adjustments because of past patterns and what the market does because they're more in sync with the market 
you're able to make those little adjustments to that strategy that helps make that strategy with already an edge even higher. And well, hope this has helped you out. Don't let those losses get you down because as you see, it took till the last trading session on the last day of the trading week to get those accounts a little bit of green, but nonetheless, we were in the green. We didn't lose money this week. We paid our losses, we paid our commissions, and was left with a little bit of money. So not a great week, not a bad week, but we are in the green, and that's a good week to me. So hopefully next week we actually turn a decent profit, get a payout, pass the challenge, hopefully. Can't predict the future, but we're going to stick to the plan and see you all in the next video. Peace.